Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. How often do you value you? So how often do you value yourself? And you may think, well, what a strange thing to say. But you know, I've been thinking about this for a little while now. As we're coming up towards the back end of the year, where, of course, we celebrate Christmas, it's all about taking a moment to give thanks for those we love and adore and cherish and hold dear to our heart. But how often do we actually take a time to value ourselves? How often do we take time to concentrate on ourselves, look after ourselves and make sure that we're in a good place, whether that be physically, whether that be in our mind, through well-being, through our uh, mental health. How often do we take a time to make sure that we're in good estead and we hold ourselves in good esteem and we're in good health and we're ready then to go on and make sure that everybody else is well and healthy and we can run around and support everybody else. I wonder how often we value ourselves. Now, not just in terms of our well-being and our health and physically, and of course, valuing uh, the very essence of us, how often do we turn around and value our time? How often do we take a moment to value what we have to offer? Now, I will be very honest, I don't do this enough. And it's almost like uh, eat your own words type thing for if any of my family was to see this clip. And that's why I'm uh, working on this myself. And that's why I'm sharing this on my channel. Forgive me my hair. I've literally just come back from having uh, having a hair cut and they use some incredible stuff from Avida, I believe. And it's just so soft and sleek. So I, I can't really do anything with it at the moment. So I, I do apologize if I keep touching my hair. Let's get back to what we're talking about, valuing our self. So I've been thinking about this for a little while now, and it, it all come to a bit of a, uh, all kind of came to the service actually, um, at my last uh, doctor's appointment, sort of check up with how I've been with uh, with a long term uh, health condition, and I really took a time then to think. Actually, when the doctor actually was asking me some well being questions, that if I was making sure that I was taking time to de stress, that I was taking time uh, not doing too many exercises at work, and I thought to myself, Do you know what? I'm a very, uh, very conscientious person. I always work hard and I always give uh, 110% in everything I do, whether that be work related, whether that be family. I would quite honestly do absolutely anything for my family and anybody. If I had to help anybody in this world, I absolutely would. I've seen it in previous jobs before where people have burnt their self out through, quite honestly, not valuing themselves, not valuing themselves in terms of looking after themselves so they can support their own family, in terms of if other things are going on in the background. I've seen people literally have to take several months out from not looking after themselves. Now, I don't necessarily mean this by all of, I, we keep coming back to health and I, and I know that, but Sometimes just taking a moment to think that actually when we do feel a bit stressed or if we feel a little bit down or if we're feeling if we're feeling not like ourselves or even a great reminder when we come to the back end of the year and we're approaching Christmas to think that actually, do you know what, I'm going to I'm going to just take just for a moment, just maybe even for a couple of hours, I'm going to do something which is good for me. I'm going to do something which I enjoy. I'm going to try and switch off because I'm going to look after myself, both mentally uh, for my well-being, for my physical health, to switch off, de-stress. I'm going to take care of myself, look after myself, value me, because through valuing me, I'm going to keep myself strong and healthy, okay, in many, many ways. I'm going to be in a good place to help everybody else. So sometimes just by taking a moment to value you, you can actually be more beneficial, more, let's put it this way, breaking it all down. You can be more useful. You can be more of an asset, more of a good friend. You can be more of a supportive family member through valuing you. Now, moving on from that, through valuing you, let's stretch that a little bit more. So at work, how often have you had a conversation with someone before and they kind of second guessed whether you'll be able to do something and then it started to make in your head that actually now I'm second guessing myself. Can I do this? Am I good enough? I've been there, my friend. I really, really have. So when you actually talk about valuing yourself, it's really important to value how good we are as well. So for example, if you've worked hard, then Stand up, say you've worked hard. You don't have to physically say those words out loud, but to yourself, hypothetically, you can actually remind yourself that, do you know what? For example, me, do you know what? Bradley, you've worked hard. You've worked hard for where you are and find that confidence from within. Value yourself, value your experience, value the time and effort you've put into yourself and let that shine. And the minute you start doing that, confidence starts to grow. You start to change as a person and you start to become 
more of an asset but to yourself you can keep going you can shine through difficult situations because you're valuing your confidence and people will start to see that when you value yourself how often i've heard people in conversation say oh that would never be for me oh i could never do that value the asset of yourself value all of your skills value all of your experience value what you've been through value absolutely every element of you so faith for me is absolutely everything it really is and it's my guiding grace in this life and it has really got me through some really difficult times um and on the back of that uh, I, I had a fantastic uh phrase uh recently which really pulled me out of quite a, a bit of a, a dark hole at that moment in time on that day and it was speak about yourself as god speaks about you so he created us all and i know of some people who aren't of faith they they probably won't choose to hear that, but I'm going to say it anyway, that that we are the creations of him. We are a blessing in this world from him. He blessed us with this life. We have this gift. We have this gift to walk with. We have this gift to make the most of, to cherish. And with that, all he asks us is to love him and love one another and lead a good life. And of course, through all of that, we have to value ourselves. Because for us to have a full life, for us to be able to love one another, we have to love ourselves as well. We have to take care of ourselves. Now, I'm really bad at doing that, but we have to sometimes take a moment that actually, yeah, we can talk about the health, we can talk about the well-being, we can talk about physical elements, we can talk about work, but valuing yourself. So let's stretch that a little bit more in finances. Value yourself. Okay, there is a sense of control in every situation, but sometimes we've got to find it. In social media and just all over in today's world, we see people are having huge, lavish houses, lavish cars. And sometimes I think to myself in huge, painted, portraited, lavish lifestyles, which for a lot of people are just completely, let's be honest, out, out of reach, out of touch. But that doesn't mean to say that you're that you're not incredible. That doesn't mean to say you're not amazing. Just because, for example, somebody can't afford a certain something or a certain lifestyle does not mean that there isn't huge amounts of you and your life and your family and everything to value. There is so much to value. You are a gift, as I always say, and on my channel, just remember, you as you as a person, there is only one of you on this planet. So you are a blessing, you are amazing. And from that, try and take strength and just take a moment to actually value. And if it's really, really hard for you in this moment, take a moment to actually think to yourself, um, I'm in the situation, I'm in the situation I'm in. I'm dealing with a pretty rotten bag of things going on at the moment. And that's, and, and as much as it is really, really difficult, it's really easy to find the negatives in every situation. I know a lot of people are going through a lot of rubbish right now, and especially in a cost of living crisis in this part of the world, and I think all over the world. And of course, if people are going through health issues and one thing or another, or have lost somebody, it is so, so easy to find yourself in a falling hole. But you know what? I've been there. I really, really have. I've lost somebody who was my absolute world. Um, and you really do have to take a moment and actually see the blessings, see the goodness behind it. You have to value the small things and start small and let it grow, let it get bigger. And then you will start to remember actually in those dark situations that actually it was a step on the pathway to that bright horizon which follows after every storm. And you will get there. You really, really will. And that's really the essence of valuing yourself, valuing you. You have so many great attributes. You have so many great skills. Sometimes it's just searching for them a little bit and you know what it's not always going to be easy and it's not always going to be pretty sometimes for us to be able to find things which we have to offer we have to go through rough times we have to go through difficult storms but it all passes and i know it's not as simple as that but when you do get through that and you actually just remember to value you and value absolutely every essence of you and every tiny element of you value it because you are you there's only one of you there's only one of you of your memories, there's only one of you of your experiences, of what you've been through, what you're going to go through, your path to success. It's all unique to you. So value you. And there's so many incredible things in this life. And in terms of work, in terms of, let's say, uh, relationships, let's say monetary, let's say uh, health, well-being, all of those amazing things which we which we have to embrace in this life and are all blessings in this life. Let's be honest, it starts right from you. So how on earth are you ever going to be great financially if you don't value yourself, value your choices? How on earth are you ever going to have an amazing relationship and a wonderful story to tell grandchildren and great-grandchildren if you don't value yourself and take care of yourself? How on earth are you going to have an amazing career if you don't value the skills and the experience you have and your amazing qualities and abilities? How? 
Think of it, my friend, honestly. And on that note, value you, because it all starts at you. Your amazing, great journey, as I say, as in this life, if you want to, if you want to live your life, I always say to people that we, we only have one life. Okay. None of us have promised our tomorrow. And if we're blessed with another, it's great with both hands and run with it. And think of your life as a book. Okay. Now, write your book how you'd like to read it. And I know, again, it's not as simple as that, but it does start with valuing you. Nobody values your time like you. Take family out of the equation. Nobody values your time like you. Nobody values you like you. We're not talking about family because they love the bones of you. However, it all starts with you. God bless and take great care. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.